Hey, look, it's a jungle tree. Let's take a closer look. What would this leafer do? Whoa, what's this? So, hello there, and that was about my best role playing I could do for this video. So I'm sorry for about that, but welcome to this new video, and yeah. A few days ago I saw a video of Goatcrafted, which was about, well, yeah. Actually the same thing as here, but he used another design, and well, yeah. Just he made a video about what he calls, and I call too, a hidden jungle tree door. So basically, it's all about um, retracting certain blocks to create a spiral staircase inside the, well, jungle tree, and also being able to fill it up so that it looks completely normal, like I just did. And well, the main reason I'm actually posting this video is that Codecraft's design was, uh, well, not really focused on compacting. And therefore it was actually quite big. It was 10 by 10 by 7. While I managed after about 10 hours of tireless well frustration. <laughs> um I managed to compact it up to um 10 by 9 by 5. So as that's a kinda decent difference in my opinion, I thought it would be a good idea to make a video about it. So here it is. Anywho, um, yeah, in case you want to build one yourself, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So, yeah, ignore the spit for a second. Here in this chest I put the items you will need, except for building blocks, but you will get those while digging. Anywho, uh, I'll just sum it up. 24 redstone, 3 had some torches, 37 had some repeaters, 2 had some lamps, 4 slabs or stairs, 10 sticky pistons, 4 dirt blocks, 4 jungle tea saplings, 1 bone meal, 1 lever, 1 glowstone block, and 1 obsidian. So, when you have all those things, you can start building. The first step is to create a pit. It has to be 9 by 10 by 7. So, yeah, by the way, 9 by 10 is the area and 7 is the depth. So, and when you've done that, or you use the world edit like me, for this video, and, yeah, just dig a staircase, um, preferably in the long sides where you want your input to be. So, when you've done that too, I'm going to start building. And also, you probably may be thinking, like, why... Is it 7 deep? Why you told us it was only 5 deep? And, well, actually I'm going to fill this these two layers up completely later on. And But it has a really odd reason c concerning piston glitches and stuff like that. Why I have to leave the space open just during the building process. So, let's start building. Just copy the shapes I'm creating right now. Uh, sh uh, shaping right now, actually. And I already made my first mistake, great, that was I think within the first 10 seconds, which is a bit of a record for me, I think. Well, at least it wasn't a bit big mistake, because actually, in, um, yeah, in the previous stage I made for this tutorial, I just messed everything up completely, and I had to start over again about after about, I think, a half an hour or something, so that actually really sucks. I just hope I can. I don't sound too bored or whatever, because this is actually I think the sixth or seventh time I'm uh, recreating this design. Because well, yeah, I already had to try it a lot of times to make sure it works, and also I needed. Um, yeah, I basically just wanted to memorize this design completely, so I don't have to look at uh, sheets of paper or something like that during the video. So yeah, now I'm just, um, I don't know everything by heart, and then just, yeah, I, if everything goes alright in um, the right way, I shouldn't actually even need to, well, look at 
I know, another world, papers, stuff like that. And you just um, also make sure you have getter CP does on the right delay because that's probably the most common mistake you will make to well yeah just get these uh, one of the CP does on the wrong delay so I'm just going to get go over this once again um, yeah these are on one this one one two this one one two this one one two this one on three and this one on four uh, no on two I'm sorry I hope that didn't confuse you. And yeah, also I'm going to uh, build this project layer by layer, so I'm not going to put raster on top of this until I get to the next layer. I guess, I know it may be easier to just put raster on top of it now, but I try to keep things, yeah, also place uh, some dust here. And um, I just try to keep things as not confusing as possible, and I think this is a good way to do that. Anywho, let's um, yeah not get distracted from the building because if I do, I may make a mistake, and if I make a mistake, I'm in serious trouble, definitely. So yeah, actually, that's not much I can say in this phase. I mean, you just have to correctly copy all the blocks and the delays. I um yeah, I show you here, and also make sure you well yeah use the pause button of YouTube. Because, well, it would be very, very odd if you <laughs> managed to um, build everything at this speed. But I'm just trying to keep this tutorial as short as possible. So, well, I don't see the... Well, I don't see the function of making things really long. Just to make sure that you don't have to pause the thing. Because everyone has a different building speed. And, yeah, in the end, there are also going, always going to be a lot of people who are going to have to... Yeah, change the uh, rate at which things are well built, or at least change the rate at which well, the video is played. So I thought I'd just make a tutorial as short as possible, as that is a whole lot easier to me too. So yeah, I just hope this should actually only take 10 minutes or something like that to build. At least uh, it took about 10 minutes where when I, mm, um, well basically timed it oh yeah I thought that was the last try I timed it it only took 10 minutes and it worked so it should um, be the, exactly the same right now I guess and yeah oh, this repeater needs to be on one by the way yeah if I have uh, spare time like well a second ago I'll probably just um, yeah just hmm, how should I say this um, yeah repeat the um, amount of uh, delay you need to put on a repeater so uh, yeah you need to put three repeaters here and they all need to be on the two make sure you remember that you put a block there a block there and here a repeater on three then put the block here and yeah things are really getting complicated now so a dust there and a have so many beer there on the first delay. Then go around this with um yeah with sandstone and I think this, oh no wait you have to put the gap on this spot not on this spot. So you put a city piston there. This is one of the last city pistons you will need and yeah. So actually, these, this block is actually already for the next layer, so I shouldn't do that yet, just yet. Anywho, let's just keep building. Oh yeah, now I can finally deactivate those pistons in the center by putting a torch here, a block there, and a repeater on four there. And basically, okay, no, it didn't work out well, but it should when we actually completely complete, well, design. So also put a well redstone dust on top of the glowstone and uh, this repeat on two. Make sure you put as on the top of that. It's a very common mistake in my case. And yeah. Just like this. Put some dust on top of that. 
Oh yeah, I'll, uh, this needs to be a slap too. Yeah, you here need to pay attention at when I play slaps and when I play normal blocks because it's not just for fun I, I, play, I use those slaps. I mean, they are really there for a very good reason. And if you are uh, an experienced set stone yourself, you will very likely already have an idea about what I'm talking here. But I'm not going to explain it right now, this is a tutorial for, well, the average person, not the, um, well, <laughs> um, free key restaurant like me, I guess. But, yeah, actually there's no buts this time, sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot, you need a, to put a torch here, a redstone torch, it's very important. And I forgot, so I hope you won't forget when you build it yourself. So, put this, um, repeat on 4. Two repeaters here, a block, then, mm, wait a second, I need to check something, okay. I uh, almost uh, thought those had some lamps weren't there, but you actually do need them, they are very important uh, in terms of block updates and stuff like that. You may know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, well, and if you want to learn more about Hearthstone, you definitely need to check something about block updates in that case. But yeah, if you already know what it means, of course, that's irre irrelevant. So yeah, sometimes, as you can see, I still need to basically, well, put blocks from previous um, add blocks to previous layers because of mistakes I made, but yeah, I hope that doesn't confuse you too much. And you uh, put this repeater on 2, and no, this repeater on 3, this on 2, or, or switch it, well, I actually always do it in this configuration, but normally it should also work fine the other way around, of course, but if you are a bit familiar with the, what people call Minecraft logic, you're s you really start doubting those great rules, that, because they often don't apply, actually, yeah, they, basically, all the rules in Minecraft are very, well, yeah, not they, not universal. They um, usually work, but sometimes they don't. And it, because of stuff like that, I tend not to switch delays there. Um, yeah, I think I'm really getting close to finishing this design. Actually, yeah, it looks like I'm quite done here. So of course we need, still need to cover up this whole thing because it looks ugly now, and everyone will uh, see your base. But well, before you do that, I suggest you test it, and if you want to test it, already put a block on top of the uh, torch, that's very important, I, and also put a block on top of that redstone dust, take your lever and put it on top of it. Then, um, put three, well, loading blocks, and he, um, in reality this is going to be uh, locks, but I'm just using sandstone for testing purpose. Okay, that didn't work, but I already see why, so that isn't really much of an issue, so far. And, yeah. So, let's attack this. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm now, I'm now going to, um, now I'm going to try this again. I'm going to reset all the piston. Well, the LT is past the pistons were standing, and yeah. And of course, it isn't working as it should be working. Great. Um, yeah. This is of course kinda embarrassing for me, but. Okay, I already see an issue here. Uh, yeah, you basically, um, I forgot to switch these delays. This one needed to be on 3, and this one needed to be on 1. And if you do it like this, I think that should already fix most of the issues. Well, not that issue, but I'm going to work on that later. Actually, it's really stupid that I keep failing at these stakes, because normally when I don't record it, all my delays are fine. Maybe I should just talk less and uh, concentrate more on the delays. But yeah, now this side works, yeah, just fine. It's just this side, of course. And well, 
I'm just going to check some of the important delays here to make sure that I didn't mess something up. Because, well, of course, I, I did mess something up, I mean, otherwise it wouldn't be working. But, well, I just want to know what I messed up, of course. And, yeah. So, I'm going to check uh, basically all the delays I actually have here. And I already... Yeah, oh no, wait. No, never mind. I thought that this delay was wrong, but it actually wasn't. However, that delay is wrong. It should be on um, 3, not 2. Remember that if you were building it yourself. And yeah. Also, I will put uh, a uh, download of this world in the description. So if you find this com video too confusing, uh, you can use that to build yourself. However, it it's kind of hard if you just get a machine and you have to build it. It's kind of hard to um, yeah, build uh, every part of it without destroying it completely. So I actually think this tutorial is a whole lot more useful. But of course, it's users. If you want to, you can uh, do it another way. And it didn't hit tagged in the end. And I know why. That's because there wasn't a block here. But well. I'm actually um, not that. It's not like I'm. Uh, I, I feel sad before making this mistake because actually, I'm really happy that I managed to find find out what the mistakes were this fast. Because usually it takes me an hour or so, and of course I wouldn't record that. But it only took five minutes now, and as you can see, both retracting and uh, extending works fine. So if you've done that. I suggest that, yeah, first uh, put it into the retracted state, so basically like this. And then go down into this area, which I left open. And now you need to fill this up with any kind of block, as far as I know. But, well, I, well you don't need to fill it up, but I, I actually suggest you don't fill it up if you don't need to. But you probably need to, because otherwise you wouldn't be looking for a very compact design. So, I'm going to use world edit, of course, if you're on survival you will have to do it this by hand. And just, these two bottom layers need to be filled up, I'm going to use sandstone, like the rest of the, well, basically ground here. And I'm going to try this design again, it should still work fine. And if it doesn't, well then, that is too bad, you will need to build the whole thing on another place and well, I guess not fill up the bottom area because there's a certain glitch which basically curses the place your, um, you had your design or no, I'm not going to explain this, it's way too complicated and I'm not that good at English actually but yeah, it just uh, works too, uh, it just still works, I'm sorry so, yeah, that's great, and I'm going to remove this block, and apart from that, I'm just going to fill up the whole thing here. That's kind of straightforward, I guess. Um, yeah, so there's not so much to, uh, well, explain on this part, I guess. It's really easy, just fill up the entire layer. However, there are, uh, there's one exception, uh, and, well... The exception, I will so show you the exception in a second. And it basically is right here. As you can see, there's a sticky piston here and it will push the block up. So, to make sure that your thing, uh, so just don't put the block, another block on top of it because it will just be pushed up and will never be um, detected and it will give away your equation, of course. Of course, you may be thinking, yeah, but. I mean, this hole also gives away my location. Why would I want to keep it? Well, of course, it's, it's actually necessary for the design itself. But the um, actually nice thing about it is when you extend the um, yeah, if you extend the jungle at uh, the uh, logs, so like the jungle tree looks normal. This is going to go up, and it also is going to look normal. So actually, it isn't going to be uh, an issue. It's only going to uh, this hole is only going to be there as long as this hatch is open. So yeah, that works out quite good in my opinion. Also, remove those three blocks you used, or at least I used for testing. 
and then grab your three last things you need, which is dirt, jungle tea saplings, and preferably also one piece of bone meal. Then put a 2x2 uh, two uh, two two square of dirt here, put four jungle saplings on top of them, and this will guarantee that the tree you grow is a thick one like, well, yeah, you know those well, those fake jungle teas where, well, jungle teas are basically known for. And yeah, then you have to, have to place a block here, fill this up like this. And basically now is the moment of truth. So first extend it. You, It's normal that you don't, won't see a difference. But now if you retract it, and it worked fine, great. Now you can um, connect this tunnel to whatever you want, whether it is your base or a very long tunnel to wherever you want it to go. But yeah, you can just do whatever you want with it. And you can also do whatever you want with input. Probably you won't want to, uh, it has to be open as long as you're in the base, so you could do something with b uh, a button outside and a button inside. You connect those both to the same flip flop and the well, T flip flop actually, and the T flip flop output connects to the input of this mechanism, and then you can both outside and inside uh, change the uh, yeah state of the hatch. So I'm going to close it off once again. Of course, th uh, yeah, that works fine too. And now that there's an extra part, which is basically not necessary. That's why I didn't put it on the item list. But if you want to, you can do it. So, if you want to make the tree look more natural, then you can, um, yeah, just put vines here, and yeah, it will look a whole lot older. Like it's, uh, you didn't plan it just a few seconds ago, like you actually did. Just make sure you don't put vines above, well, natural vines. So only um, fill up the complete space beneath existing vines. And because that's the way it will grow actually if you just wait very long. And then it will really look like this. But of course we don't want to wait that long. Because someone might see it and may think, hey, that he's just planted, what would it be suspicious? Suspicious, right? Or, or to some people it may be suspicious. Well, but of course it's just an extra. But we need to do it. And then we will get... Oh. No, actually, I didn't finish this yet. And yeah, you. Oh no, this one this, uh, shouldn't be there. And when you're finished with that, or well, if you didn't want to do it, then you can already end it. Come here, of course, and it should still work. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, works perfectly fine like it already did before and it just goes off nice and as you can see the hole is gone as long as the hatch is closed so people won't see a thing uh, suspicious about this tree and that's basically what this video was all about so I hope you liked it and if you like this kind of well, stuff I highly suggest you check out Codecraft's channel because they post well really uh, regularly uh, stuff like this um, well not only like hidden uh, piston doors and stuff like that but almost all of the content is about redstone and uh, all the machines they build and usually it's really nice I'm uh, subscribed to them too and yeah anywho um, yeah I hope you like it uh, once again just uh, if you um, yeah, leave a rating please, and leave a comment also, and if you have an issue with this design also, leave a comment of course, and I will try to help you. And that's it, see you guys another time.